what is up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Karina and OMG y'all we are going thrifting today I feel like it's been a while and since the weather is finally changing here in Southern California I was like girl you need to go thrifting definitely gonna be thrifting on my Pinterest board today I'll kind of put my inspiration lately and I definitely dressed apart because I feel like I've been so inspired by fashion lately I'm just really excited to be thrifting today and we're gonna be going to one of my local favorites which is quality thrift if you're ever in the area I definitely recommend to come to the thrift store it's a cash only store but it is just just always such a good thrift store always full of gems okay let's go and check this thrift store out so we are in the jackets first I want to get that out of the way and then we'll head out to the dresses and stuff so Southern California do I need a coat but look at this one okay oh my god I am just getting all the positive vibes out there today because I really want to find some good stuff. Knitted wear. You know my methods. I just grab and then decide later. This would be such a fun sweater vest. Look at that. Okay. What's up with all these knit sweaters? Like, okay. Okay, come through. fun these are so I finished looking through sweaters and my cart is already full with sweaters so now I'm gonna check like more tops I want to stay in the tops area and I go to the laundry I always go to the laundry section first though let's go there first cuz well no cuz okay let's just keep going <laughs> sorry if I don't talk that much <laughs> I'm just all over the place I just saw they have more jackets here so I'm looking at them my Pinterest real quick I feel like I should go into the dresses oh, I wish I can find a corset I don't want to go back to my list so I'm looking for a plaid skirt a satin top black or white oversized a fur faux trench jacket red leather jacket long midi dresses velvet dress white tier dress baby tees corduroy pants oversized sweaters black fur trim cardigan and gray trousers so i'm looking for midi mini dresses and midi length dresses because i definitely want to like do some layering especially if i could find a velvet mini dress perfect so let's check it out
basically just finished thrifting but I can't really go through everything right now because there's so much and there's no really a specific area I had multiple people in here being right already I'm gonna show you everything in the hall but I just really quickly wanted to show you how big my cart is so I'm gonna go through everything and then I'll show you everything that I got at home this is going so so well really excited for today's hey, haul. Hey, what's up everyone? It's now time for the thrifting haul portion of this video. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm really excited to just get into this haul because it's a huge one and I just felt like I was totally getting all the thrifting vibes that day. I just want to say something. I already kind of filmed this thrift haul earlier, but this whole time I literally had lipstick underneath my chin and I just felt like, mm-mm. I couldn't live with it while I was editing it, so I'm actually refilming it right now. So that's probably why I can't really tell you precisely what the costs were. I honestly feel like the most expensive thing I got was $6, and I think it's the first item I'm gonna show you, but everything else, truly, really good pricing. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Enough blabbing for me, and let's get this haul started. On my list, I wanted to find a plaid skirt, and I was particularly looking for a mini skirt because I am just obsessed with anything mini, but when I came across this skirt, I just felt like, oh my gosh, you know what? I've always wanted to try things outside of my comfort zone, and this skirt kind of gave me that, and it is this one right here. It is in this navy color with this plaid print, and then the bottom has like this gray tool on it, and I thought it was really interesting, as well as that like the design is different. It's not like an A-line, but it has like a squiggly design at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it right here, see? And then I figured that I can dress this up kind of grungy, you know? Uh, it's definitely an aesthetic that I feel like I have been really interested in. I, I've been pinning a lot on my Pinterest, kind of like this aesthetic where it's like Victorian, like academia, mixed with grunge. And I just like all the details of this skirt. And this is a midi, y'all. And y'all know I don't really thrift that many midi skirts. It says it's from Free People, size medium, but this baby got to stretch and it fits perfectly. I already tried it on. It was $6.96. I'm remembering y'all, <laughs> so yes. All right, we're moving on to the next item and that is a sweater. The struggle for me to find sweaters that are slightly oversized is, is difficult. And the fact that I found one in this beautiful beige color, I am just obsessed. It kind of has like this boxy fit and I kind of like that because it's easier to like tuck in or wear with oversized things. It's such a staple for fall wardrobe and I personally love this. I thought like maybe just layering it over like a skirt or a dress with some tights and loafers kind of that like light academia preppy look that we've been seeing in the fall so this one didn't have a size but to me it seems like it could be like an extra large i think this one was 4.99 all right, you're ready for the next item. This one is really freaking sick, y'all. It is vintage. I know that for a fact because of the tag. And it is this freaking sweater vest. It's so 80s. That day at the thrift store, there was just so many sweater vests and knitwear. I was like, this with like a skirt or with some pants, a very simple, piece to wear and I feel like these type of sweater vests are still in and as well as the other like tailored vests, vests are here for the fall and I just thought this was fun and cute and I love the knitwear. Look at that tag. Y'all don't see tags like that that often. So it says it's a size large. Really happy about this piece and can't wait to wear it. Oh. Now let's move on to the next item and it is this satin polka dotted dress tell me this does not give you like valentine's day vibe i found this in the lingerie section y'all know if you're ever looking for like a satin material dress always check the lingerie section there's always good slip dresses there and i personally love wearing slip dresses especially because a lot of the times they're in like a mini length and that is my favorite length okay i kind of do like the whole polka dots and i love the colorway i feel like even this with just like some red lipstick a big trench coat uh just perfect for the fall, some chunky boots. Do I gotta say more? Cool thing about this too, it has like a little side slit, you know, for that little sexy leg action that I love. I love pieces like this because you can obviously wear it as a dress, wear it as a shirt, wear it as a skirt, layer a turtleneck. It's just an amazing piece to have. Yes, and this one was like, I think it was like $3.99, so it was really affordable and 
very very fun I cannot wait to wear this the brand is delicates it is a size extra large and like I said I think I pay like $3.99 for this all right so the next piece is just a classic staple for me and that is a button up top and this one I have it in black I did want to just get a simple black classic button up because y'all know these are like so versatile I get mine oversized because I like to use them as cover-ups as dresses sometimes even for something classic and simple and timeless in your wardrobe check the freaking button ups I just feel like you can never go wrong with the style so really happy I found this this so I got it in the men's section it is by the brand called Stanford it is a size 20 I think this one was like $5.99 something like that girl I'm just guessing just a very classic simple staple for my wardrobe moving on to the next item and it is this faux suede like button up honestly I have been really into the color red I'm not gonna blame something over here but I feel like red really just looks so good with the orange hair so I've just been obsessed with that lately very simple button up for covering I definitely wanted more button ups that I can use as cover-ups because this is such a like a lightweight material and it's not so heavy but it's still like keeps you warm you know put over like a dress or just you know if you're wearing a skirt or something like that that's why I kind of wanted something like this surprisingly red is something that I don't really have in my closet but this time around I was like give me give me red give me red give me <laughs> and I think this one was like only two dollars so really really fun and I cannot wait to start it so that was everything that I ended up getting just at Quality Thrift. We did end up going to another thrift store. It was slightly nearby, not really. I definitely was just still in the thrifting spirit. So we went to this thrift store called Long Beach Rescue Mission. I'll leave it down below because y'all know with my memory and my pronunciation, it was definitely just like a really small thrift store but they had some sales they had like all dresses a dollar orange tags were a dollar anything pink was a dollar so let me show you what I got first piece is this item right here which is another slip dress and of course like I mentioned the color red I really love this I love the lace detail and of course it also has some lace trimming at the bottom I thought this was fun and also it was just like giving me like Christmas holiday I feel like this you can obviously dress it up for the holidays or even casual it down slip dresses for me it's always like on and off either I find like bomb ass slip dresses that fit my length or they're just too short so luckily these two actually fit my height and I'm really happy about that because like I said there's times where even like in my last declutter I had to declutter slip dresses because I couldn't wear them as dresses so I'm really happy that this one if it's a homegirl. This is by the brand called Gillian O'Malley, and I know this one was like $5.99 at that thrift store, so yes, got this one. The next thing I found was for a dollar, and I am just shook it to the core because I was looking for this at the other thrift store, and I was just like, no, I'm gonna wait because it's too expensive, and I couldn't find the size that I wanted because I wanted it oversized, and then I go to the other thrift store, and they're like, here you go, Karina. It's right here for you. And I'm just like, what? Found this trench coat. It's in this faux, like, suede material. Wanting a trench coat for a while. I just feel like in all that, like, classic European kind of Pinterest side of that I've been, they always wear, like, trench coats in the fall and winter. And they just look honestly so chic especially when I went to go visit Copenhagen it, it was always like very classic staples and the other day when it did rain I did end up wearing this and it was warm as heck it's by London Fog and it's a size 44 I found this in the men's section the only thing is that it's missing the belt and I was kind of bummed about that so I'm gonna probably look on like Poshmark or eBay to see if I can find a belt for this separately and oh my god I'm just really happy about this piece I feel there is is a couple last items I got at the thrift store I got these earrings y'all I thought these were so freaking cute I figured you can do kind of like you know putting your hair up and then having the earrings be the staple I just freaking love that I love accessories like this and it kind of reminded me of like something um, that Eva Green would wear in like Penny Dreadful I love that they're long and like chunky and they're just so prominent they were, these were only like five dollars and these are just freaking cute Yes. All right, and that thrift store also had like a bin of just shoes. I saw these babies at the top and I was like, what a freaking coincidence. I've been wanting platform Tevas for a while, especially in the summer. Like if you go back to my Poshmark likes, I have been saving platform Tevas forever. 
in those bins were these babies right here, these black kind of Teva style shoes. It doesn't even have a size, but I quickly tried them on and they fit and they're so freaking comfy. These are by the brand called Cushion Air. So they're not Tevas, but they're still pretty good quality. And I feel like the owner previously probably only wore them like once or twice because it's not even that used to be i know a staple for me in the spring and summer and I, i'm just so happy i got these and these were only five dollars yeah that was everything i ended up thrifting that day i cannot believe just the vibes and the finds going in with an open mind but also just having kind of a clear vision of the things i wanted to get and sometimes it doesn't work but sometimes it does and i'm so happy it ended up working out this time around i had so much much fun thrifting that I ended up going thrifting literally that Sunday and y'all I got a haul y'all I found so much stuff I literally thrifted all these cool things but I did not film a thrift with me I was like oh my gosh why did I not do that make it like a collective haul because there's stuff that I bought online let me know if y'all are interested in that and I will definitely do it but that is all for me folks thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you so much for being here and if you are new don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and if you want to catch up with me you can follow my instagram it is living as Karina. thank you so much and i'll see you soon bye